A call for a constitutional convention took a step forward yesterday when legislators in the state house voted in its favor. But that came after a lengthy debate highlighting concerns from some house members and their constituents. Al Whitney Miller explains. The conversation Tuesday took several hours. This bill has been thoroughly vetted over the last month. Legislators for and against hosting a constitutional convention shared concerns, despite not having a clear agenda. If you find out that there's a draft soon, are you going to tell us? There's no draft of a constitution. <laughs> All right, people out there are saying different. A major question for the Landry supported convention, what's the rush? A recent amendment pushed the original start date from the end of May to the beginning of August. We're going to have the, the highest voter turnout this fall. And so these special elections draw very little voter turnout. Governor Landry says the goal is to rewrite a new slimmer constitution for the state. But not everyone is on that same page. The new amendment to the bill protected several articles from being altered in the convention. We have articles one through four that have been protected. Um, and we also have the MFP and homestead exemption. Lawmakers agreed not to tamper with property tax exemptions, public school funding, and to protect the homestead exemption. But state rep Mandy Landry pointed out a potential flaw in the amendments. And I've kind of been describing it as a pinky swear because we can put almost anything we want in this statute. And aside from, I think, the date and the amount of delegates, Everything else can be changed, is that right? I, I disagree. The legislative intent of, of this body would be to bring a convention and, and not include certain items in the discussion to move into statute. Lawmakers noted the last constitutional convention 50 years ago lasted three years. The bill's author doesn't think it will take that long this go round. What took them so long was they were debating over every comma, every word, and, and, and rewriting rewriting the, um, the, the entire Constitution. This is not a constitutional rewrite. Now it's up to the Senate to pass or stall the measure. Whitney Miller, WWL, Louisiana.